course, was Lauryn Hill X Factor. So there's talk of Trump and Kanye uh, getting together along with some other people and having a race summit. So we're going to have a racist and a dude who excuse racism to talk about racism. <laughs> is Stephen Miller going to be there, a noted racist? Is Steve Bannon going to stop by, a noted racist, to tell us about racism? Here's the truth about Donald Trump. He uses black people uh, for backdrops. You know how you go to a club, you got that little backdrop, and it used to be a Mercedes or a Lexus? That's what you are to him. He uses us for optics, for pictures, for opportunities. If that were not true, why did he shout out Kanye West, but he didn't shout out the young man that saved four people at the Waffle House at a mass shooting? He didn't say anything to him. Why does he mention only... And why? let me ask you something. Why are all people who support him, all black people support him, that that kind of tinge of coon? I'm saying, I'm serious. Like, you, you really don't respect him. I can respect somebody for having an ideological people. I cannot ex re respect somebody for continue to support him, even though you know what he does. You have to... See, to me, it isn't so bad that... The, people have, have tried to mitigate slavery for a very long time. I, it's not unfamiliar to me. You've heard people say, oh, well, that you're better off here, or it wasn't that bad, you know, from Bill O'Reilly to Steve King, the, the senator from Iowa. People have, even Ben Carson talked about, uh, you know, uh, we were immigrants, you know, I mean, voluntary immigrants. Everybody's tried to mitigate slavery. But not the, the difference between them and those people, Kanye and those people, is Kanye's a dude that I like, that I felt like he came from me. None of those cats I have any connection to. Nothing they say could disappoint me. Nothing they say could make, they couldn't say anything to disappoint me because my expectations of them are so low. But Kanye, remember, what, we call Kanye a genius because he told us to. And we kept doing it. We bought your leather sweatpants. Because here's the truth. If you make a good album or a good TV show, black people are going, they'll make the excuses for you. If you make good enough music, good enough entertainment, because that's how bad we need to feel good. We need to feel so good that if you do that, you accomplish that, I don't care if it's a TV show or an album, we will make the excuses for you and dare you to, dare you to take it away from us. We, are, we, we will make your excuses for you. I'm not telling you, think, ask R. Kelly. Yeah, I know he peed on that girl, but if you're going to do it, that's the music you do it to. That's the, that's the, if you're going to pee on somebody, that's the soundtrack you need to be playing. You know how bad this was? It was so bad that he embarrassed Kim. How can you embarrass a Kardashian? Like, she was probably getting ready to post another naked picture on the internet when all of a sudden this trends. <laughs> Somebody scrape all this glitter off my ass and hand me my phone. I got to call this idiot. It, it, it isn't that, that uh, you can't make mistakes. It's that you can't make these kind. The kind, that, let's be honest. Even when, if you're not racist and you heard what Kanye said, then you would even go wild. The only people who would be happy about this are racist. And if that's your gig to make racists happy, then you've accomplished it. It's all, it, 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 it can be one of two things. If, you do, if you're doing this because you believe it, I can't, I can't, uh, that's your mindset. If you're doing this because you believe it and you've come to believe this thing, that's your mindset. But if you're doing it to sell something, that's worse than a dope dealer to me. You're trying to sell your people. You're making it okay. You told them that all your ancestors, whatever they went through, they deserve. You mm. wouldn't say that to a rape victim. You wouldn't say that at all. But you get to say that to us, and you and you said to some of the people who are who are enacting legislation to make that so. You get to say it. You 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 get to say that slavery was a choice. So I guess that must mean Harriet Tubman was just a travel agent. Wow. Wow. <laughs> If you did it because you were, you had something to gain from it, then I don't like you. If you did it because you believe it, I don't like you. There's some things you do that I can never F with you again, ever. I can have a difference of opinion of who you vote for. I can have a dis difference of opinion of who you worship. But when you tell me that everybody and everybody looks like me and been through what our, the history of our people, that it was nothing, you are the first black man to ever successfully put an asterisk on slavery. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. Jesus walked and Kanye walked right to the gates of Calabasas and lost his goddamn mind. That's a little note from the GED section. We got the Jazz Report coming up after Andy Stokes' Best Days at the D.L. Hugo Show.